Welcome to Bonnie Rig Rose TV. We are here at Gala Bank as Bonnie Rig Rose visit at an athletic. We're bringing the changes, seven changes and three new faces from the team that lost 4-0 to Albion Rovers. Number one, Patrick Martin signed alone loan from Falkirk. Number three, Neil Martin Number, seven, number four, two, Kerr Young. Six, seven, number six, three, four, Alan six. Horn. Number 16, Aaron Arnott, signed on loan from Wraith Rovers. Number 17, Connor Doan. Number 18, Robbie McGill, signed after his release from Peterhead. Number 19, Scott Gray. Number 20, Kev Smith. Number 22, Cam Connolly. And a first start for number 24, Chris Kane, after he signed Redenborough a few months back. And Scott Gray gets us underway at Galbank. Kane marauding forward, that one was loose. Martinuk deals with it momentarily, but. Big chance there for Chris Johnson. One on one. And the first real test for Paddy Martin, and he's passed that one with flying colours. Al Horn, the man to take. No one's showing, Arnott eventually does, but it's too short and Chris Johnson is now causing problems. Got by Arnott, Kerry Young coming across to try and help out. Gives it back to Aidan Smith. And at the second time of asking, in around two minutes, Paddy Martin has come up with the goods to keep Rose level. There's options in the box to go for a cross, but We've got to imagine that top right corner staring at him. Dawn sends it in, and it's comfortably gobbled up by Greg Fleming. Barnes goes past Martinuke, and he has options to aim for. Goss is up there. The falls Kelly to Smith. Who turns it in? As Anna Athletic are in front. It was good wing play from Barnes, gets the ball in. And after a mix up in the box, anything could happen, the ball fell away a sniff. And he goes score for Annan on 24 minutes, number 9, Aidan Smith! <laughs> Again, closed down sharply. And there goes the half-time whistle. <laughs> Bonnerig Rose look to bounce back after that first half. A change of shape and a change of personnel. Kieran Hall comes on to the play. Debutant Robbie Miguel. Here's Wallace. Find his fullback on the overlap. And you would have banked on Tommy Goss. Now, if anybody in the park putting that one home, but he fires wide. Great to Kev Smith showing now. The ball fizzed in. And a bit of pinball. And eventually hammered away by Fleming. It's the closest those have come. Calls for handball. Chaos in the Annan box. Ball fizzed in by I think it was Arnott. And Paul just couldn't get a foot on it. That would be a perfect way to start the half, a perfect response. Ball in. Head out and Doherty helps it on. Johnson and Goss, the two yellow bodies charging forward. A big swing and a miss from Scott Gray. And Tony Goss takes the gift. A devastating counter attack. A Rosalie devastating with the weight panned out from their own corner. A big swing and a miss from Scott Gray. Gift wraps the chance for Tommy Goss. Docker Day with a searching ball. Head away by Horn. Arnott gifts the ball back to Smith. Smith barges into Ross Gray, Scott Gray. And turns him, leaves it off, and it's a fantastic finish from Max Kilsby. No 
Joe's misery being further compiled as Aaron stamped their authority on the game here at Gallivant. Excellent finish from Max Kilsby. As Aaron now comes forward to Doherty with a, leaving a trail of rose bodies in his weight, gives it to Goss. For Johnson, the main creative force in that Aaron team, can he create something here? Ball down by Scott Gray, and it's a penalty to Aaron Athletic. Chris Johnson, so often the creator in that Aaron team, and he's created a perfect chance for whoever steps up to take this penalty. No surprises here, Tommy Goss stepping up to get his 15th goal this season. And he does just that. <laughs> Full time at Gallabank. Another hard defeat for Bonnie Rig Rose. It finishes Island Athletic 4. Body rig rose now. So Robbie, obviously there's seven changes today, a few new bodies in the team as well that we haven't seen before. Um, how did it just go wrong today? Where didn't it click? It's just obviously for, for us we need to freshen up. Um, just needing some fresh faces. Obviously we're in a position where we're, we're at the bottom of the league and things need to change a wee bit and uh, obviously try to do that today. Uh, I didn't think we were out of the game at 1-0 and you know, I thought we were in the game and then we gave away terrible goals, it's as simple as that. Uh, see the blatantly to see the penalty again, I thought it jumped in the back of him, but at the end of the day the game was done at that point anyway, so it didn't make any difference. But the, the goals previous to that, we've got to do better. Um, that, the second goal comes from our corner, we were on the attack and we, you know, we didn't win the ball at the edge of the box and then they break on us and we've got to deal with it when the ball's going back. Um, so disappointed, really disappointed with the, with the goals that we lost and we just never give ourselves a chance. So the goals you lose, you can't do that at this level. And uh, aye, after that it was a mountain to climb, as soon as the second goal went in it was a mountain to climb. And you can see the players are short of confidence um, and that second goal in, goes in and uh, we're just trying to hang in there to be perfectly honest, that's where it was. And it's become too too easy to score against us at a point when we go maybe 1-0, 2-0, it's too easy to score against us. We've got to be, we've got to be better than that and stronger than that. Yeah, you mentioned their shortness of confidence, I think that's clearly a part of it, but is there, is there maybe an opportunity for you and the coach team to mix stuff up? Is there going to be new bodies coming in the door still ahead of the but end of the winter? We try to change the shape, we try to change the team. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, try to get fresh legs and a bit of energy about us. And you know, we, were in, we were in the game first half, I didn't think we were great first half, I didn't think we carried enough threat going forward, but we were in the game. Um, but I say goals, you know, the second goal absolutely kills us and knocked the stuff into us and you could see at that point there the confidence from the players had completely gone. Um, some would try to keep playing but um, just it wasn't enough and as I say, goals cost us, goals cost us, can't do that at this level. Brilliant, thank All you right, Robbie, cheers. cheers. cheers.